guys, Till here from SOS. Hey, guess what? Found something interesting on the uh, on the good old internet today. New report from First Orion. This is uh, the company that goes out and picks up uh, all this uh, interesting caller information about what goes on on your cell phones. So they're they're watching your your phone calls to see who you call and what's going on. Anyways, turns out they found, according to a new study, that almost 50% of all of the cell phone calls in 2019, so this year, are gonna be from scammers. No, not your mom, not your brother wanting money, or your sister wanting money, but it's gonna be from scammers, and especially the worst type of scammers. Those are the guys that have those uh, predictive dialers, otherwise known as robo-dialers, and uh, so a bunch of robots are calling people, and they're all trying to get them to either buy used car warranties, or uh, it's from uh, uh, Microsoft technical support, or it's from the IRS. A lot of these scams that are kind of going around and around, 50% of your phone calls from 2019, most likely gonna be from one of these guys. Now, interesting thing, um, there's, there's, there's a few things you can do about it, and we're gonna talk about that a little bit in this video. But, uh, you know, if you look at kind of the total volume of calls, we're looking at 2.4 billion calls per month. And uh, the uh, FCC alone received about 1.9 million complaints uh, the first five months of 2017, and it just keeps on going up from there. So we're gonna see a lot of complaints there. And uh, this is big business. And this is the funny part. So I, I don't know if you wanna Google this, you can confirm it for yourself, but in 2016, a call center out of India was busted for uh, scamming people with these uh, robot dialers. Uh, they were doing Microsoft scams, IRS scams, any kind of scam you can think of. And guess how much money they were bringing in each day? About 150,000 US dollars. Every day, day after day, seven days a week. Big bucks on this. So uh, that means that a lot of people were really falling for these kind of scams. In 2016, that, was, that wasn't that long ago, two years. Let's just be honest here. So. Um, there's all kinds of scams to be aware of. And uh, I'm sure the reason that you're tuning in right now is because maybe you saw these, uh, or you're getting the four or five of these calls every single day, uh, wanting you to renew your warranty. And uh, that, that's what's kind of driving everyone nuts right now is all these warranty scams going on. So we're gonna talk about that. Uh, but there's the IRS scams, there's the gift card scams. So scam, uh, scams where they try to, you, they combine the two, right? They say that they're the IRS and they're essentially impersonating a federal agent, bad, right? Uh, they go out there, they, they want you to get a, a uh, gift card and send it to them or to wire transfer money. What a scam, right? Um, then there's also the auto warranties, right? So there's the Medicare, there's the uh, health insurance scams. So they're saying that there's been a problem processing your, uh, your medical billing and we need a credit card information for you to uh, process that. Uh, we get the fake customer support scans. We, we hear that quite a bit too. Uh, your computer's been infected with a virus. Come to this website really quick. Uh, put, give us your credit card number and we'll clean your computer for like 300 bucks. Well, they just clean your pocket. That's what they've done. And um, of course, there's the sweepstakes one. And the sweepstakes one, uh, the, the guy who was running that just got busted. I think it was something like a $4 million um, fine that was just paid out on that. So uh, you're probably not gonna hear about the sweepstakes scan, uh, scan scam <laughs> uh, for for a while but um it's interesting how these guys pick up your your uh your phone numbers and how they get you to pick up so uh the the phone numbers themselves are uh, are posted in something called lurg which is the local exchange routing guide the lurg is is the npa and nxx directory for essentially the entire united states npa is the area code nxx is the first three digits so if your phone number is 808 area code 861 right, like our phone numbers, 9595, then if uh, you get a phone call from someone who's also calling in what, from 808-861-1234, maybe you're more likely to pick it up because it has the same phone number prefix, the NXX prefix is yours. So that's how they kind of can spoof these numbers and get, the, get you to pick up the call. Um, they're using voice over IP, which that, that means that they're talking over the internet, probably the same way that you're listening to my voice, you can transmit a phone call in the same way. And when they're talking over the internet, you have the ability to change your caller ID. So naturally, they can be anywhere on the planet and they can still sound like they're right next door because we live in a high-speed, highly connected world. That's just how we are. 
So we have a high speed, high connected world that allows someone to pick up any sort of caller ID and specify whatever kind of caller ID that they want. Uh, they pick a caller ID that's close to you and they use a predictive dialer, which is a robot to go out and call, 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 call until someone picks up, right? Now, this is not technically illegal as long as they have a few safeguards in place and uh, at least give you some alternatives. So what they can't do is uh, call you without giving you an option to be removed from their list. So uh, especially with these uh, car warranties, which by the way have been going on for years. The most recent one uh, was a, a payout from the FCC. I think it was a few million dollars also. This is back in 2011 uh, from all these people that were scammed from, um, from uh, all these car warranties that they were sold that they really weren't delivering on. So it was a fake product. And uh, so the idea is that you want to give them the option to opt out of this list. And if, if they don't give you that option right away, immediately they're, uh, they're in violation and uh, it's an illegal phone call. And, you know, a few ways that they, they're going to find your number is not just uh, randomly dialing, but they're, they're probably going to pick it up from infiltrated databases. So the first bit of advice I can give you is to keep your phone number to yourself. And keeping that to yourself means don't post it on Craigslist and also don't put it inside of any sort of web forms where uh, maybe you go online, uh, you, they ask you for your, your name, email address, and uh, you know maybe a, a phone number for you to, to put in there. Well, if it's, a phone number is not required, don't put it inside because that database itself can become compromised and it goes out into the dark web and then next thing you know, you're starting to get scam phone calls. Um, there's also a website called donotcall.org now, any reputable business that is using a, a robo-dialer or predictive dialer, uh, they are obligated to follow this do not call.org list. And if you are getting a lot of reputable calls uh, from, or should I say, uh, robo-dialed calls from reputable companies that they are actively trying to solicit you, uh, but they're doing it in a, in a legal way. If you put yourself on the do not call.org list, that's a good way to get started on uh, maybe reducing those number of calls. Um, now, if you are suspicious of the phone number, uh, you can let it go to voicemail. And then if they do give you that toll-free number at the end of the voicemail message, uh, you can simply re call that toll-free number back and uh, get yourself removed. So it's not that hard, really. Um, but if you're just too lazy to go through all this stuff, there is a uh, long list of available apps. Some are free, some are paid. Uh, some of the top ones are Nomo Robo and um, Calls Blacklist. Those are the two top apps. Nomo Robo, I think, is just iOS, so it's just Apple devices. Um, but the idea is, if you if you just decide to take this into your own hands, those apps uh, continuously uh, report to that uh, do not call.org database and uh, they communicate back and forth and they try to block automatically the numbers that can be a problem for you. So those are your four kind of recourses. Number one, keep your number to yourself. Number two, go to do not call.org. Three, uh, you can uh, any, let any suspicious calls go straight to voicemail and then get yourself removed from that list. Or number four, app it up. Go ahead and get yourself some apps. Uh, we're gonna put a link to the top 15 apps for Android and for iOS. Uh, according to CTIA, which is the Computer Telephony Industry Associates uh, organization. The CTIA is a well-established and well-known organization. They keep track of this kind of stuff. They publish the list. We reproduced to put it onto uh, our blog and also it's uh, in, the, in the description below for this uh, video. So anyways, I hope that's been helpful. Uh, I know that these calls can be frustrating and uh, we're here to help. My name is Attila from SOS. Give us a ring or uh, drop us a line anytime. Aloha.